Alice, six volley drills you can do with your partner or a partner. Um, I know that a lot of people go out and they just kind of play, but these are six drills that I used to do all the time, always in progressions from simpler to more complex, from slower to faster, and they're just there to really work on the basics of your volleys. So that's what we're doing today. It is volley time. My name is Micah Babel, former top 30 WTA pro, 19 times Grand Slam competitor, and volleying was definitely one of the things I enjoyed most. So the first drill is very simple. We're going forehand cross court volleys, so just forehand volley to forehand volley. And we're working on the basics. And we're starting a little further in, and then once we have a couple of rallies that went okay, meaning over 10 balls, we move back. So we always go from a little easier to a little more complex until we're all the way back on the service line. All right, so let's see how it goes with Faisal, my partner here, who's so kind to help me out today. All right, here we go. So. Are you moving your feet over there? <laughs> so we just keep it on the forehand side. Always coming back to ready position and we got our feet moving. There we go. All right, I think we can slide back a little bit. So now we have to lift the volley maybe a little bit more, but we're still split stepping. Nice. And now we're going service line to service line. And if you're doing this right, it's a workout. Whew. All right. And again, we're just keeping it forehand to forehand. Sorry. It's all right. Ooh, then we're losing control. Are we losing control? Never. All right, back inside. It's the same progression. We're going really slow. This is not about pace. And the key is really that you're really, really working on those little itty bitty gritty details. Because if you have internalized those, then you can pick up the pace. So you're really seeing we're trying to do all of this with one ball. I don't know why I have three more in my hand. We're gonna make it with one ball. Sorry. Up, keep those feet moving. Now, yep. Really want to try to keep that fist in front of my body so that I can react really quickly. All right, let's slide back a little bit. Sorry, a little short. And then of course we're going all the way back to the service line. Sorry. Oh. Back in the day I had that. All right, our next drill is just volley to volley, one on one, but it's gonna be random. So it's not just forehand or just backhands. But what I want you to do is choke up on your racket. And that really allows me to work on keeping the racket face above my wrist because I don't have the entire weight of the racket weighing me down. This is especially a great drill for kids when they first learn how to volley. I still do want the left hand your offhand on the throat of the racket because the left hand does have a very important role. And again, we're just feeling and we're trying to sort our feet out. So again, this goes for numbers. We're starting fairly far up and then we work our way back and also the um, hand down on the racket. So nice and easy. Good. and come back in ready position. Left hand always on the bracket, there we go. 
Oh, we're doing the figure eight. Got to interrupt that. All right, and then we can move one step back and slide down on the grip a little bit. Until we're all the way, all the way back at the baseline. And of course, you don't have to do that continuously. Right? If you work in increments of 10, you can stop the ball and then move back. Okay. All right, so now that we're at the service line, we're going all the way down to our proper grip. So this is just friendly, volley to volley. Make sure that you have the tip of the racket facing to the side. There we go. Low base on every volley, you come back to your ready position. So same drill from the front, choking up first, keeping the wrist below the racket face and keeping the wrist out in front. Okay, let's dance. So that's almost what it feels like. Can't dance anywhere else. But I think on the court, I do have some rhythm. All right, let's move back a little bit and we also move down on the grip a little bit. Ooh, I got lucky on that one. <laughs> All right, and then you're moving back to the service line. And again, we're in our full grip and go. And of course, once you have these numbers of repetition, you can also pick up the pace, but always go from slower and a little simpler to more complex and then a little faster. So you get those repetitions made famous. Uh, the seesaw or yo-yo, whichever one you want to call it, what you're going to do is uh, we have the benefit of the junior lines on this court. I'll start on the deuce court. Faisal starts on the deuce court there. And again, friendly, we're volleying together as I'm moving to my left on this side. Faisal moves to the left on his side. And once we reach the junior lines on the other side, we're gonna do it the other way around. All right, let's see if we can do it with one ball. So just a couple of steps to the side, trying to control the ball here. Okay, I got my junior line, let's make our way back. Okay, let's see if we can do it across one more time. Nice. And way back. And again, of course, if you're making it once or twice through, you could pick up the pace. That was well done. So the last two drills, and these are for singles more so than for doubles. And you notice that by my court positioning. So if I'm coming in, I'm following up an approach shot and I'm attacking Faisal's deuce court, I need to shade over slightly to the left of the middle line because I want to be on my bisector of an angle. If I made that a doubles drill, totally different animal, I would slide more into my uh, right hand service box here, into my deuce court service box. But as it is, as a singles drill, I want to be about here. And this is another thing that I want to make you aware of. A lot of people, when they practice volleys, are up here. And to my mind, that doesn't really serve its purpose because you rarely get into this position as your very first volley. So I want to work in a position where I usually get my transition volleys, and that is around the service line. And then of course I made my way in and that's why I'm staggered over to the left a little bit. So what we're doing is we're just going my volley to Faisal's deuce court. He can hit forehands and backhands. And if I get a backhand volley on this side here, I'll play that as well. So we're not limited to either one of our sides. All right, and you'll also notice that I'm not moving in a whole lot. I'm not consecutively moving in, moving closer, moving closer, putting the ball away. I want to force myself to play lower 
volleys because again that's most likely what I'm going to get as a transition volley. Yes, of course I'm moving up on each individual volley but I'm not going to close up to net. And again, if you do this right, it's a workout. All right, let's get serious. Whew. All right. There we go, perfect. That's what I want to work on. Ooh, I didn't get behind that ball. Oh, that's good. Didn't move up to it, I just let you pull me sideways. All right, and of course we're doing the same drill on the ad side, or Faisal is on the ad side. I'm on the deuce court. Again, if I attack his backhand, his ad side in singles, I want to slide over from the midline a little bit to my right to be on my bisector of an angle. All right, let's do it. Again, I'm staying around the service line because I want to work on my transition volleys. That is a very good ball here. That's realistic for when you would play matches. <laughs> and I don't have that.